What is going on today guys? Tomcat here and today I am bringing you my very first R Factor Drift build. Now, I just recently got into this game. I want to give a huge thank you to Gunner4568 for helping me um helping me basically all the way through the way of getting this game like where to buy it, what what mods to get. He helped me through absolutely everything in this game, just getting all the proper mods um for drifting and if any of you guys, if there's anybody out there that already plays R Factor and is like really beast at drifting, um, realize that this is my first, <laughs> this is my very first time actually recording a drift build for R Factor. So, um, it's definitely when we get to the actual drifting part, it's definitely it's not going to be, I guess you could say, um, pro level. Uh, but I have been practicing. I have been practicing. So let's go ahead and we're gonna start out with this S13 drift missile. I'm gonna try and do a little bit with it. I've never actually driven this car before. I've built a couple other drift cars. Um, just to practice, I have a 180 and a chaser and a couple of other cars. And so, like I said, though, never drifted this car before. So we're going to see how it goes. And I've already bought the car. So we're going to go ahead and go straight to upgrades. Now, let me actually put my controller down. And for, let's see, we're going to start out just, let's see. I kind of want to start out with the rims because that's just kind of what I would like to start out with. Um, let's actually start out with the rear rims. Now, there are so many modded rims in this game, you have, like, s s you have such a range, it's crazy. Uh, those might be a bit big, I don't know. Those look good, those look really good, actually. C especially considering the fact that this is starting out as a missile anyway, is what we're turning it into. Um, hmm. Those are a little big. Let's see... Trying to think of what would be nice. Those look nice. But I'm honestly really, really liking the... Well, actually, those are really cool as well. Going through the rims in this game, there's just so many sweet rims. Um, I'm thinking the uh, the black Equipo 3s are what we're going to go with, though. Now, let's go ahead and go back to... There we go. Just minimize that. Go to the front rims and equip um, Equipo 3s as well. Now, the cool thing about our factor is that you can have... Two different styles of rims, like you could have on um, like one on the front, one on the rear, and it's really cool because you can mix it up. I mean, that's an absolutely ugly combo and a very bad representation of what you can do. But uh, it's it actually it is it's really cool to the fact that they give you that option. They give you that option. They put it out there, and they're like, okay, here you go. You know, and it's like even though it might not be something that everybody would want to do, they're like, okay, here you go, and that's for for people that might want to do that. And I think that's really cool. I think that they actually. Um, the fact that they, they put that out there in the modding community, I think that's, that's an awesome thing to me. And I just remembered, did I buy the other rims? No, I didn't. <laughs> I didn't buy them. That's the thing you gotta remember, is if you forget to buy the upgrade that you selected, things can, uh, go wrong. So, let's see, front bumper. Now, you can install whatever front bumper you wanted here. You could do, um, you could do any kind of body kit bumper. Uh, you got several different types of body kits, or, and this is the good part. You could take it off, go full missile mode on this thing. You could take it off, and I'm I'm not sure if we're gonna leave it off, <clears throat> or if we're gonna go with a Type A, <clears throat> jeez, Type A from bumper. Uh, I like the Type A a lot, but I also just kind of like the fact of having the bumper off. I mean, it's it's new to me because I haven't played this game before. No other game has allowed me to do this, so I'll probably just leave it off. And for the rear bumper, I'm thinking we might. Uh, we might either stick a Type A on the rear. Let me just go through here and just see what we have. Because you can't take the rear bumper off. So I'm thinking just a Type A on the rear. And then, let me minimize that. Go back to the side skirts. Now, side skirts I'm kind of iffy on. It just depends what... It, it just depends what we want to do with this thing. Um, I like... I don't know. I like the Type A side skirts. I think we'll leave it with those. And then... Now, for the front fenders. Now, we can... That's the cool thing. You could flare them out a little bit. You could flare them out, or you could leave them stock. I, I mean, we don't need to flare them out, but I kind of like the look that it provides. I kind of like the look that you get when you flare them out. So I'm gonna leave it that way. And for the, now for the hood. Oh, please tell me. Yes. Oh man, you could take that completely off. Oh man, that is that is that is serious. That is legit right there. I don't know if I'm going to keep it off or or put uh, stick a hood on there, but I don't know. I'll keep that in mind. I, I'm, I'll come back to that and see what I want to do with that. Now, let's see. Grills. Now, I... Oh, okay. So, you can just kind of change. 
Nah. I'm going to keep the Sylvia grill. I think the Sylvia grill looks... It's 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 just kind of nice and classy. I, I feel like it would be the best choice to just leave the Sylvia grill. Now, for the B pillar? You didn't even customize your freaking B pillar? I'm just going to... Yeah, I'm going to leave that stock. Cor what is a corner lens? Oh, 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 I see. Okay, okay. That actually looks really nice with the... Just clear. And did I... Forget to buy the front... Yeah, I did. I did forget to buy the front fender. And then rear fenders... We can flare them out. And... Yeah. Yeah. Let's see what else. Let's see. Whoa, whoa, what? No way. Oh, that looks awesome. That looks awesome. And I also... Yeah, okay, we bought that. Strobe? Strobe for, for what? Oh. So honestly, just strobe lights. I don't know about that. We could probably leave that off. Uh, I don't think there's any Sylvia emblem left on here to, to put on or off. Exhaust systems, dude. Oh man. I'm thinking, well, the Type A muffler is gigantic. It's huge. That is absolutely huge. It's almost too big. Um, that's kind of cool. That's cool as well. It's kind of nice. It's almost like a low profile. Oh, God. That, what the heck? That is tiny. The other thing, I'm going to go with the Type B short. Now, for the rear wing, I don't know if I, mm, I don't know if I'm into putting anything large on this thing. I mean, like, see that? I don't really want to put that on this thing just because it's a missile, but... Eh. But then again, I kind of want to go for a stupidly huge wing anyway. Um, uh, I think... I, you know what? I'm going to leave. go ahead and leave it off, actually. I'm going to go ahead and leave it off. And then, yeah, we did the exhaust. Number plate. Are you serious? I'm just going to leave that number plate stock. Steering wheels? I'm gonna have to kind of position myself, but, like, so I can see in, but... Oh, wait, I already did that. Um, and my controller just disconnected. And I've, <laughs> and I've connected it again, because I kind of need that. Um, I think, I think that purple wheel actually looks kind of cool. And then, for the motor. Now, we've got an SR20 in there, but I kind of want something... I don't want something too, too powerful, like 712, but... Let's see, for the for the motor, I think I'm gonna go with the I think I'm gonna go I think I'm gonna go with this one. It seems like a good seems like it'd be a good range with not being without being too high, like just too powerful. But I think it would give me what I'm looking for as far as um just as far as power goes. Now the gearbox, um I'm thinking, I don't know. I'm not sure. Let's go with the sequential gearbox and just see how it goes. For the brakes, I'm gonna leave that alone for now. Um, stock steering ratio, uh, we need one, uh, I think the last one I went with was the D1GP, I'm thinking that's what I did, on one of my other, um, on one of my other ones, but I'm not exactly sure, tires, we've already got the Project D, okay, cool, now, do you have any other skins for this, no, no, we don't, so, that's about as, I mean, we could do more, but I feel like doing any more would, might, I don't know, I don't want to take this car, like, too far, because I feel like, it's to the point where I want it. I mean, we're not doing, like, a drift car slash show car. We're doing kind of a basic car because this is my first build, like I said before. So, let's go ahead and test it out and just kind of see, kind of see what happens. I'm, I don't know. I'm a little bit, uh, I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm not sure. I'm, I'm, I'm actually just a little bit kind of scared about what might happen because I've never drifted this thing before. But, I've only been to a couple of circuits in this game. Uh, let's see. Have I been here? I think I have. I think I have. I'm going to try loading it up. I'm going to try loading it up because I... Yeah, 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 yeah. I've been here before. I've been here before, so I know this track works. There was another track that I tried that crashed the game, so I didn't want to start that one. I really didn't want to start that one. Real feel is enabled. Thank you for letting me know. Holy crap, that turbo. Is that... Yeah, that's okay. That's as far back away as it gets. Okay, yeah, that's some wheel spin. Oh, 
Holy crap. Okay, I've never drifted this car before, and it literally goes sideways, like, immediately. You just... I mean, I seriously, just tap the gas in third, go sideways, no problem, no resistance, nothing whatsoever. Kicks the tail end out and goes. And that backfire, oh my god! Nope, 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 dang it, dang it, okay, that's gone. This is way more sensitive than the, uh, than the 180 that I have. That's, that I've already built, but then again, I've worked on that car a little bit. I don't care that I'm going the wrong way. I'm freestyle drifting. Get off. <laughs> but, um, this car's a lot twitchier than my, uh, than my 180 is, but, like, my 180 hatch. But this thing, although, although it's a little, little twitchier, I think I can get used to it. I mean, the setup that I have on here really reminds me of, I get, it really reminds me of the drifting in a Seto Corsa, and... I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but, I mean, to me, it's a good thing because it made it a little easier for me to get into this game since it felt similar to Assetto Corsa, but I don't know. I mean, because I'm playing it with an Xbox 360 controller, which is why the steering is so jerky, and it kind of needs to be that way because there's only... You can only get a certain degree of rotation with a 360 controller. I mean, you're not dealing with 900 degrees of rotation that you might get from a wheel, but even so... It's still not, it's still not bad. It still doesn't feel uncontrollable or anything like that. I mean, if you've drifted in a Seto Corsa before, you'll definitely be able to get into R-Factor and at least start messing around. I mean, I'm nowhere near pro level or anything like that. I'm not, you know, I'm not trying to be at this, at this point in an R-Factor. Oop, a little bit of a wall tap. <laughs> um, I'm not trying to be, I'm not trying to pretend to be, um, anywhere near, like, any kind of pro level of drifting in this game, but... Even though, even so, it, it's actually not that difficult to get into it with an Xbox 360 controller. Now, when I say not that difficult to get into it, I'm talking about, like, casual stuff. I'm talking about casual drifting. I'm not talking about, you know, going online and tandeming and stuff like that, which I might end up doing some point in the future. Yeah, I don't know. Keep my, I'll keep my fingers crossed to see if, uh, to make the online in this game work properly, um, because if so, I might end up practicing a little bit with Gunner4568 so we can kind of maybe start doing a little bit of that together uh we'll, we'll see we'll see if that um we'll see if that happens because there's a couple of factors well there's three factors uh that kind of go into that and those three factors are the servers like if they work and the second fa the second factor is whether gunner can drift properly and the third factor is whether i can drift properly or not so it kind of all depends on those few things Trying to keep a solid line towards the inside. Trying to touch the... Yep, yep. Bring it in. Okay, come on. Oh, jeez. Almost lost it back there. I almost lost it. Keep it. Yes, there we go. Transition it back the other way this time. Game keeps telling me I'm going the wrong way, and I feel like I kind of know that at this point. I know that I'm going the wrong way, and I don't know. I feel like the game doesn't get that if I go the wrong way this much, I don't really care that I'm going the wrong way on the track or not. I'm just having fun. I'm just here to have fun. Keep it. There you go. There you go. There you go. There you go. Touch the edge of the track. Maybe touched it a little bit too much. The sounds in this game, though, are really, really cool, just like with the blow-off valves and the sounds of the turbos. And everything is just really nicely put together. These mods have been done very, very well. Now, I can't link off, like, if anybody wants to know where I got, like, a specific mod, I can't really link off to the specific mods because I, because I got it all, like, in one pack. But if, um, I, I feel like the best place for me to link off to would be, um, would be a specific Facebook page where you guys can get, uh, all these, all these mods from. And... Because then again, I don't know if the one that I got was um, was up to date or not, but it's, I don't know, it's kind of hard because mods in this game are kind of scattered. It's, to be honest, mods in this game are kind of all over the place, they're kind of scattered, and since I got them all in a pack, I actually got the pack, like, from Gunner, I don't know what's, um, I don't really know, like, what came from where as far as, uh, as far as these mods go, so it'd be kind of hard for me to, uh, to link off to any of them, but I guess you could... I guess if you guys want to check out any of these mods, you could probably 
just kind of look them up. I, I'm thinking that might be the best way to do it, be because, like I said, I don't have any idea where I got these mods from. But, um, but with that being said, the mods themselves, I mean, even though, even though they were, you know, they could be really hard to find and stuff like that, the mods themselves are very, very good. I mean, the, the, the depth of this game is, is great. I mean, in this particular track, the track that I'm on is this particular track, it is a very, very, very good place to just come and mess around, um, with maybe, say, a drift car that you just built, like I've just built here, because it's a very, well, number one, it's a very forgiving track, there's a lot of runoff area, but also, it's a very, um, I don't know, it's a, it, the, the corners on this track are just very nicely set up just for practicing, and I really like this particular track just for, simply for practicing purposes, just because of, just because of that, this track really ranks highly for me. Now, they have mountain passes, which I actually, um, with my other 180, I made a kind of little bit of a, I guess you could say a mini edit, mini Taj, um, put some dubstep, dubstep on it, um, and if you guys want to see that, I might post it, it depends, like, if you guys uh, are interested in seeing that, then I might, put, um, I might post it, like I said, it was kind of like a, I guess you could say it was a mini edit sort of thing, but, um, but yeah, I may, I may post that in the future if you guys want to see that, but, um, but yeah, they've, they've got tracks in this game that go from easy like this to, oh, I, dang it, I went off. Um, but they go, they've got tracks in this game that go from easy, like this one, to super complicated, like, you know, I mean, beyond mountain passes, they've got tracks that are super complicated, so they've pretty much got tracks for anybody's skill level, it doesn't matter that if you're like a pro at this game or just an absolute beginner, they've got tracks and tracks and tracks and tracks and tracks and tracks and tracks, so... Definitely, no, 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 and we spun it, and we spun it, but that was my very, very, very first uh, ever drift build and first look at R-Factor. I mean, it, obviously the graphics aren't, you know, they're not crazy good or anything like that because, you know, let's face it, we're basically playing an entire user-created mod right now, and the whole, the focus is on, is way more on how the game plays than how the game looks, but... If you guys enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave me a like, tell me in the comment section below what you guys thought of it, and if you guys are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe for more, and I will see you guys in the next one. Talk to you guys later.